This all kind of... So CRH, this causes the adrenals. You ever heard of the adrenal glands? The adrenals to secrete cortisol. You always hear that when you're under stress, adrenals, adrenals, adrenals. Well, this is how this all breaks down, just step by step. It's, it's not, not that hard, but you have to kind of follow me here. Um, cortisol travels in the blood, evoking a flight, fight, a fight, flight response. So when you're under stress, like if a wild animal came in here, a wild like lion, our body, would, our muscles would be ready to run like crazy. We would be able to pound through that door, door maybe even this wall. <laughs> we have so much strength. But when, when we're in a flight fight response, we can't heal. Our organs can't heal. Nothing else can heal because we have to get out of danger. If you live on that all the time, ah, you're, boom, you'll be exhausted. That's kind of how you think I am all the time. I really do chill at times. Uh, this constricts blood vessels because it, it, it uh, and inhibits HGH and other rejuvenating processes. So aging processes are accelerated and the glands actually shrink and weaken. See how this all plays out. If you're under stress, your glands, your healing adrenal glands actually start shrinking, 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 get weak, and now you can't even respond to stress properly. So your body's always in a, in a state of dysfunction. This is when you experience symptoms. You may relate to this. And this is on our check-in form. When I ask these things, I would say 80, 90% of the people always check these things. Everyone's like, oh yeah, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Fatigue, abdominal obesity, improper eating, sleeplessness. Did you see our, our testimonial today? Alice isn't here. Uh, Alice, she came in with her husband, and she said, well, I want to get checked too. So we checked Alice, and she had some nerve, nerve stress in her neck. First adjustment, she slept through the night. She didn't want to say anything to me. So it was like her third or fourth adjustment. She said, okay, I think it's safe to say this now. She goes, I've been sleeping. I'm like, that's great. <laughs> like, were you not sleeping before? She said, no, I didn't sleep much. She said, I, you know, I'd be up. Oh. I'm like, wow, that's, I like, how? You know, did you wake up to go to the bathroom? She goes, no, I'd sleep a half hour to 45 minutes, and then I'd be up all night long, off and on. I'm like, all night long? All night long. How long? Two to three years, I think she had on there. I'm like, oh my goodness, her body's never in repair. She never can, can heal. She took herbs, she took vitamins, she took this, she tried sleeping time tea, she started taking medication, nothing worked. First adjustment, put her back in balance. She's been sleeping. This is about her sixth week. Mm -hmm. And she's like, first few days, guess what she did a lot of? Sleep. Sleep. She said, I slept like, I don't know how long, I was like eight, nine, ten hours. She, she goes, I guess I was catching up. Her body finally said, Oh, it was like passing out, and it just healed, healed. And then now she goes, now I need less sleep. I don't need to sleep a lot now. I feel great. And her life has completely changed. One adjustment did that. Um, muscle loss, poor memory, lack of concentration, lack of mental well-being. Does any of this sound familiar as you age? When you hit 40, you are over the what? Over the hill. Baloney. <laughs> you know, I'm 43 and I'm there's no hill. I'm still climbing the hill. There's a long way up that hill. But don't we see this as being normal for aging? It's not. It's common. It's not normal. If, if your friends and family and, and the, this is what they're saying they're happening, their stress is destroying them. And they're developing sickness and cell breakdown at a cell level, cellular level which means they're developing chronic disease in their body, which heart disease, cancers, everything else. You have to take it serious. You know, say, oh yeah, I got a little tummy too. We all laugh. It's like, it's not good. You know, gaining a little bit of weight is one thing, but having, you know, not sleeping and you're, and you're, you can't remember things and you're, all these things means your body's internally breaking down. It's serious. You will be a statistic or your friends and family will be a statistic because our sickness is not going away, it's increasing. People in nursing homes are going through the roof, and it's getting earlier and earlier. That's why you've got to take it serious. This that sets the stage for more serious disease. Accelerated, aided, accelerated aging is a result of complex combination. Genetics, perceptions, we're going to talk a little bit about this, belief and stressors, which are all interlinked. Okay, remember how we said before, when we perceive something, it's in our limbic system, in our brain whether it's stress or not stress. Stephanie over here is just free ride, it's easy. I'm stressed out, it's how we perceive it. So perception's a big thing. Did we hear, did we hear this a lot? Genetics? Oh, you, you gained weight, so did you, you know, you're just gonna be like your parents. Or you have 
your mom and everyone else had breast cancer, you're going to have breast cancer. You know, you buy into that stuff. 25% is genetics, not not a majority. It's a very small minority. Perception is a huge thing, beliefs and stressors. So our perception of the environment that directly con controls the activity of our genes and when we change our perception or beliefs, we send totally different messages to our, out, to out cells. I don't know how it did that and reprogram their activity and expression. So when you're perceive when your perception of things, you're sending that message from your brain out to your body. Does that sound like chiropractic? Your brain, you know, you know, can run your stomach. Your brain can run your leg. Your brain runs. How's it do it? Through your spinal cord nerve system. So when you perceive things properly, you're sending out healthy messages. Isn't that neat? So it's not just about all adjustments, it's about this too, perceiving things properly. That's why me and Michelle are so happy all the time. Everyone comes in here. That's why. Everyone says, you're so happy. Of course we you are. Know what? It, and it, that's true. I mean, we try to stay up beat because if you're miserable, and that's why I don't like ask you, are you miserable today? Are you miserable today? <laughs> it's like if you don't tell me to how miserable you are, because we're all sick and hurting at times. I can tell you my story too. We'd be so depressed, we'd go out here, we'd have cancer in five years. That's perception. And you, and you don't have to live in La La Land, but you have to keep telling your brain that. Anyone know who Dee Dee Palmer was? He first, he first did this. The first originator of chiropractic back in 1895. He came out and he said, what we perceive and think has a direct uh, uh, effect on our health. Do you think they thought he was cool or nuts? Yeah. They thought he was nuts. And he kept saying, it was what we believe, because he was studying the brain and nervous system and how it all functions. He said, how we perceive things, if you perceive things as always bad, you're going to be sick. And they said, oh, it's crazy. Guess who's, who's saying this now? The medical system or the chiropractic system? Medical. Medical. They're stealing this from us. And we say this all the time. I say, well, I'm not a bad doctor. I want to help you feel better. But I'm dealing with your brain and nerve system that run your body to heal cancer and make your body alive. That's cool stuff then. Dealing with back pain. Chiropractic sort of switch and they thought, they, even chiropractors said, Dean Palmer, they're not, get them out of here. We'll start our own thing. And they wanted to be medically accepted. I'm like, I don't want to be medically accepted. Or politically accepted. No. What's that? Or politically correct. Yeah, I don't care to be chiropractic accepted yeah. either. You know, I have chiropractors that a lot of us, you know, we understand this to the core level. And I understand it. You know, when your spine's out of whack like this, yeah, you're going to have back pain. <gasps> but, you know, Ooh, bless you. Right. but those nerves that are being choked are causing your, your immune system to break down. That goes a little bit more than back pain. And, and, and who has had... It, it, being under chiropractic care, who has had a health change in their body that is not a typical chiropractic thing, like their organs healing, their sickness getting better, or something, sleeping, energy? <laughs> a lot of hands. And, and some of you that haven't had enough adjustments, you'll start seeing it. it was, that's how it changed me.